Hi! Welcome to Immersio's new YouTube channel. Uh, I'm Penny from Immersio and uh, we're doing a series of videos on making yourself uh, a costume. Uh, we know a lot of our LARPs, people get intimidated about not having the right costume. A costume can be expensive or time consuming to make. So we want to show you how you can make yourself uh, costumes that would be appropriate for our LARPs and probably appropriate for a whole lot of other LARPs. Uh, cheaply and easily with things you either already have at home or can get easily from an op shop or the fabric store. Uh, so today we're looking at making a little Regency jacket, uh, so a sort of ladies Spencer jacket. Uh, part of the reason I really want to show you this is it looks really cool, the final result, but is actually really quick and easy to make uh, and will let you put it over the top of pretty much any high-waisted long maxi beach dress that you've got uh, and turn it into an acceptable Regency outfit. So this one little project can actually uh, really give you a lot of options for your Regency ladies costume. Uh, the jacket we're making is going to be similar to, to some of these that you see in some of the illustrations in Jane Austen's novels like this one. Uh, we're making it from an existing jacket so rather than trying to construct a jacket completely from scratch we're taking a jacket that I just bought for ten dollars at the op shop uh, there were heaps of jackets like this so I don't think it's it's particularly difficult to find I found one that fit me fairly snugly so it's actually probably a teensy bit small on me but you wouldn't want it to be too too much bigger better to go a teensy bit small than than a bit too big because it should be quite fitted um, so with that, we'll get started. Hi, so I am starting work on uh, taking up this little jacket and the first step is to mark with a bit of pencil or some chalk or even a pin where we're going to take it up to. So important thing to keep in mind, you want to make sure that at least one of the buttons is going to be there still so that you can close it. So if uh, if your uh, jacket doesn't button until quite low, you're going to have to cut it a little bit lower. So always look for a jacket with a, a nice high button. This one's pretty good. That's sort of the bottom of my bust line. I probably want it a centimetre or two below, below that. Um, so I'm going to mark it maybe around about here. on both sides so I can sort of see roughly where I've got to put that. Right, so I've taken the jacket off, laid it flat, buttoned it up uh, so that it's as flat as I can get it. Uh, I don't know, you can just see there the little line that I made while I was wearing it. I'm going to use this ruler to just neaten that up a bit and make sure that it's straight and going straight across so we don't end up with an uneven jacket. Now that's where we want the end of the jacket to be at the end but we need to give ourselves a little bit of space to be able to turn it under and do a nice neat hem. So I'm going to again use my little ruler uh, and measure down a couple of centimetres. Probably three centimetres I think will be enough. If you like inches you could just make it an inch. And then I'm going to again rule that so that it's nice and straight. I might make a, a few other little guiding marks for myself just to keep that straight. Lovely. So, next 
the scary bit. We're just going to chop off the bit we don't need. I'm also not going to need this uh, this second button because this part's going to be folded under. So I'm going to snip that off so it's not in my way. And then chop it So, chop the bottom off. Now, to make life a little easier for myself, uh, I'm actually going to uh, iron this hem that I'm going to create over to where I want it to be. Uh, so I'm going to do, do one fold about half of the width, and then I'll do another fold the rest of the way. Uh, that will hopefully keep everything nice and still when the time comes to actually attach it. Right, so I've ironed that so that it's folded over twice around the hem, so it's all nice and neat and looking kind of straight, but it's just ironed at the moment in place. Uh, if you are comfortable with a needle and thread, you could go through and just do a little hemming stitch and stitch that, uh, that hem in and you'd be done. But since this is a single layer, um, jacket and I think this will work fairly easily I'm actually going to show you how you can do it without any stitching at all so we're going to use uh, this thing uh, that's sometimes called fusible bonding web or hemming tape uh, basically it's it's a thin tape of um, stuff uh, that when you iron it will get sticky basically and it'll stick on both sides so it's kind of like double-sided tape but for fabric so we're going to give that a go. So rather than try to do it all in one big section, it's much easier to do it in smaller sections. So I'm just going to start with, with a little bit, as much as I think I can manage. Put it, uh, just press it into one side of the fabric. If you're nervous or if it's moving around a lot, you can pin it in place. But I'm going to just do it in small bits and, uh, and hold it there. And then you get a damp cloth. Clean, damp cloth. Pop that over the top. Get our iron on a moderate heat. Hold that iron there for a few seconds. I think the instructions on this packet say about 10 seconds. And maybe it needed a bit more because that's not super sticky. That seems to be sticking a bit. We've got to do the other side. let that cool but that's looking like that started to bond So I've let that cool 
and gone in and had a little look at, at my uh, my little hem there, and it's this is it, it's generally pretty secure. There's a couple spots where I've uh, I've missed putting tape, but for the most part that's okay. Certainly for a costume that you only need to last a day or two, that will do. There it is. This is our cute little Regency jacket. Too easy. All done. Um, the jacket itself cost me $10 at the op shop and the fusible uh, hemming tape, a couple of dollars at Lincraft or Spotlight. Sometimes you can even find it at Woolies or Coles. Um, so I hope that was helpful for you and you're feeling confident about making your own Regency jacket. Uh, if there are other costume anxieties you have or costumes you'd like to see us do uh, a quick and cheap and easy version of, let us know in the comments. Uh, also, if you enjoyed this video, if you could give it a like, uh, if you want to see more videos like this, give us a subscribe. Um, that really helps us out with the algorithms on various social media and, uh, and join our social media channels, of course. Uh, and yeah, hopefully we will see you at Good Society, either the New South Wales run on the 4th of April or the Queensland run on the 18th of April. Uh, do get your tickets before the 8th of February though, and you can go to immersio.com.au for all the details about that. Cool. Happy costuming. <laughs>